you basically throw the hopper. After that, it's just complete chaos. Remember, you're gonna quick, 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 grab the neck. Oh shit! Oh my god! Damn, 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 damn! The neck is too fucking small. It's very technical until you hook up with one. It's very chaotic. Like you'll be like, ah. Oh. Welcome back to Operation Red Colloid. If you haven't already watched the part one of this trip video, please click on the link. I'll also share the link in the description below. So we arrive in the village next to the river, deep in the jungle of Kalimantan. And as you can see, it's been raining. It's been raining since we arrived last night. I also made some videos of the flies that we're using for fishing the red colloid. Do check out the videos in the links. So this is a house that we spend a lot of time in while waiting for the conditions to change. Staying here brought back some childhood memories where I spent some time in village homes. This is how they look like, village homes in Southeast Asia. So we were told the water level at the river is too high and too fast, and dangerous for us to navigate to get to the hemp site. So we're just hanging around in the house and hoping conditions will change and maybe, who knows, just maybe we'll get to go to the river in the afternoon, later part of the day. Just a thought, is there a space for our bags, you know, our Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. There, there'll be a platform for the end and you can put your bed. Oh, really? Because we, we need to pass two bridges. Mm. So those bridges now is high and it's only like little space. Right, right. Even when we're going fishing, we have to pass those bridges, right? Yes. <laughs> you can see the river, just walk there. You can see the river from here. Ah, Alright, I'm going to take a walk. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I will take this kitchen knife and... <laughs> hey, what? my friend Jeff told me... Rhino there. Adel. 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 Huh? Can you catch, can you catch? I wonder if say to wait. <coughs> oh, this is a big river. <coughs> Look at how fast the water is running. Yeah. Maybe. I wonder. Is it frustrated this? No! Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, he's there. But... Really? Yeah. The virus was... The real question is, what's she doing there and Pachu's all here? <laughs> oh, she says, come here. And I get you a lot by the river. Oh! What's happening is we got here at midnight. Last night, it rained cats and dogs. As this fall? David brought the rain. Yeah, this, this, this tree flowers here almost, you know, got stuck in the mud and sank into the earth. I almost died. Yeah. <laughs> and you did that saving him? Yeah. We woke up this morning, still cats and dogs were coming down. So you come all this way, spend all this money, now only Azni will save us with his funny story. Yes, bugger all, that's what we do. Yeah. Looks like nothing much is going to happen today, but except eat and sleep. <laughs> Still better day in the office. Yeah. All fresh from the trees. Yeah. A lot more talking cock going to happen. So this is the rapid, right? So we put one be uh, below the rapid to fish here. We put one because they have to push the boat up. Rather than things getting better, conditions were actually worsening.
as we can see water coming right into the village this is no good mm. uh, let's go with the uh, fajar to Malak and Lepa Makawin <laughs> 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 Yes, it's not that pond. It's early days. We stop with for that. How's it? He this chicken, but it tastes like super lado. <laughs> <laughs> the local boys moving their bike to high ground. And what does that mean? It means we are screwed. That's what it means. Problem is, this keeps coming up. Get the front yard of the house is all underwater now. The road is gone, submerged. Water is still coming up. We're looking good for our red color fishing. Water is still rising. It's the midnight now. <laughs> oh, we are flooded. Day four morning. This is supposed to be our second day at the river fishing. The uh, water seems to be at its peak, I think. Uh, just one more level on the steps before it actually gets into the house. Well, at least it's not raining anymore. It's been rained out two days, no fishing. We've got another two days left. Um, today is a much brighter day and we are much more hopeful. But, but we're always hopeful in the morning. Yep. I'm hoping that by this evening we'll be out of here to the campsite. Oh. <laughs> I can't think anymore. I just leave it to God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If He gives us opportunity to fish, I fish. If He gives more rain, I leave. <laughs> Over there in the fire, and uh, our Mr. Ehami is chilling out. Dia pergi mancing di atas. Tadi? Baru saya pulang. Sungai? Hampala. Ya, itu. What are we doing here? Uh? Are you crew Yeah. Casting? Casting. Huh. Good fish. Yeah, nice fish. Good size. Yeah. We found out that the floods like this in the village is not normal. It's more like a once in every ten years kind of event. Yep. Just our luck. And we were arguing among ourselves who actually brought the rain. So being stuck in the house for this is the second Full day, we had to find ways to pass time, you know. Amongst them was eating. Overnight wedding. We are going through our ration that we're supposed to bring to our camp. This is so bad. nice, all the same. Called uh, Champada. It's a fruit native to Southeast Asia. In English, it's called Ato Kapus Integer. I never even knew that until I looked it up. Anyway, Champada is much more easier to say. The good news is the sun is out, hasn't been raining, and the water has been receding fairly quickly throughout the day. There goes the dogs again, howling away. 
we will actually told a creepy story why they are doing that. Oops, lightning in the distance. Can't help but worry because we are hoping to get to the river tomorrow. This is a new day, day 5 to be exact. We were joined by Jake Meyer from the United States last night. But I guess his timing was just right. <laughs> because today is the day that we get to go to the river. Hopefully get some fishing done. Show your nephew your fly box. <laughs> nephew Jake. Yeah. Nephew Jake. Okay. That's and this is the only fly ball he has. That's it. <laughs> That's it. We're very organized. It's very OCD, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we are finally going fishing. Yeah. yeah. Too many days sitting here. Yeah. Finally, we're going out. Yeah. Let's do it. Who's the At least get some cast out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. The moment that we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, two days. Rambutan. More than two days actually stuck inside that house. Pretty much ran out of things to talk about. All we did was, besides talking that is, eating, sleeping, just looking at the water outside. Feels really good to know that we are finally yeah. going to go out fishing. Or at least get to the camp. But looking at the, all these things, we... I guess we are all a bit anxious, you know, what the conditions will be actually like. Not to say we are, at least I'm not very uh, overly optimistic because we know the water is high and probably dirty. But this is our first time here, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. So the Kalo is side casting? Uh... Uh, sometimes you can see them. Uh, you can see them because they air breeders, right? So they go on the top. So if you're lucky and see them taking breeze from, from the surface, if you throw anything over there, they'll go for it. Like they, they're super aggressive when you do that. And uh, But that's about 30% of how we catch the fish. The rest is uh, we see a likely place. We just throw a popper or, drop, or a popper over there. The layout of the river is actually very interesting. So it's almost like a fork, it splits of tree. So we'll be camping at the junction. So every day you have choices going to one of these three rivers. You have like different sections of uh, different rivers every day. Oh, that's the. The river is uh, quite deep ish, and there's not a lot of river banks, only like certain parts of the river banks. So, the most efficient way of fishing from the boats. <laughs> So I think the plan is we're go out for a mile, all of us. Bakar plan. Yeah. 
Uy. <risa> oh my god. Tiene Switch Boot. <risa> How fast is the drift normally? Uh, this one not so fast because you have to understand this is a lowland river. So this is not like a Mashir river. There's a, that's why there's not a lot of Mashir there. So there's no there's no like big rapid or anything like that. It's, 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 it looks almost like an Amazon, right? The, the water is standing, it's clear but it's red. And uh, and uh, and it's a lowland so the water is uh, it's, it's definitely slower than typical Mashir river. I mean, I'll be honest. This is this is not like a, you can catch like many fish a day. I mean, that's I think that's one of the reason makes uh, kalai fishing is very special because every fish, like uh, what my friends say, every fish is very emotional, very special because you're gonna have a lot of breakups, you're gonna have a lot of things go wrong, <laughs> and when you land money, you be like, oh. <laughs> so we finally get to fish at about one p.m. And shortly after we started, what happens? It freaking rains <laughs> and it's pouring. Man, talk about dampening the mood. I put on my rain jacket and sat down after a while because I was feeling this is not going to work with our dry fly and this heavy rain. So I just sat there looking at David who is casting like a machine, releasing his build-up tension, you know. So I even asked the local who's driving the boat, you guys normally catch red color in rain like this? And he said no, never. But a real surprise came shortly after. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you can any run you Remember you're gonna quick 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 the neck. Give me the letter. Okay. 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 Oh shit. You are oh my god. Dude, get bring my damn 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 damn. His neck is too fucking small. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Wait, dude. Come on. That lane break keep giving that way. Yeah. No. No. Oh, oh, shit. Nobody got color in the rain. <laughs> Champion. Oh, man. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, man. Ah. I'm going to handle this guy. Huh? Holy fuck. Watch you. Watch you. Keep it. When? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a that's a two gas alloy. Yeah. Nice one. Jesus Christ, we get in 20s though. Oh no. 
Itu sudah kami tadi itu tunggu emang di situ. Alah. Sorry ya, Bang. Pak, sorry ya. Itu sudah kami tunggu. Jamaga very good ya. Awas, awas. Sorry ya hand shaking. I saw the bugger come out just that you see the chicken. Hey, the flow twice you know. Because I took it away. Yeah, I put it back. Keep calm, keep calm. Ya, Black Hopper Eh, cepatlah, Uncle Cepat, berat ni Eh, smile lah, properly Cepat lah, mati ikan ni Eh, mati lah, eh, lepas lah, eh Cepat, cepat, cepat Okey, 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 cukup, cukup Cepat lancar lah, display Cukup, cukup, cukup Cukup, cukup Ni jantan ya Jantan kan dia ada tiga jenis kan? Kita pakai belum dapat ni. Kita cari lagi nanti. Apa belum dapat? Belum mula pun. Itu tempat kita lah tadi. Itu curi. Emang kita tunggu tadi di seberang. Ini ini memang teman sejati ni. Hey bro, congratulations man. Nah, fractures lah. But he said put it close, you know. In bun kau kalau ingat ini before, saya no. Then you go. Where are they? Like flowing water, then wherever the the water is still, ah, uh, that's where they should be, lah. Uh. Holy fuck! You saw that I was almost like, ah, fuck this, lah. Uh, not gonna happen. Uh, this kind of rate. <laughs> when I saw you retiring, go fly. I see, I might as well cast, lah. Uh, don't waste the drift, lah. Uh. Like this kind of moving water, then very happy. That's exactly what's on our mind. Chances of catching fish in this kind of conditions was, uh, I don't know. Very tough, I guess. The water is flowing quick. Our drift is quick. Water is so colored, very brown, and on top of that, this heavy rain, you know. And we are throwing essentially a dry fly, although it's a big hopper. But yeah. you know, you never try, you never know. And that's fishing. Well, this is the fly that did it. I got another hole. Maybe my fly that we need. That's the second hole I got. Yeah, that's another test. David is using a lighter setup and hopper that's also smaller, so not sure whether that will work. Everything is new, so only one way to find out. My leader setup is made out of a 40 pound bike tippet, as I wasn't sure how sharp the teeth of the red color is, and also in case you know they got sharp gill plates and a little bit more abrasion resistance if it goes into some uh, trees in the water and then this 40 pound i use a knot to connect it to a huh? tapered leader that has a 30 pound tapered section what, what was it ah. yeah, yeah 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 oh you saw also when you wait oh, 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 I came I saw the <laughs> yeah it was quite slow though. it was not like explosive kind of thing Oh, but yeah, exciting as well. I can see the bird eat. Well, that was a totally unexpected catch, but very welcome and a promising start, although the conditions were still far from ooh, ideal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that? <laughs> it's barrel. Well, it was pretty uneventful <laughs> after that fish in the early part of the afternoon. We fished on in pretty tough conditions. Drift was really quick. Nothing much happened until later on in the afternoon when we started catching fish again. Huh? Hey, did I what? Nice. Bad double fighting, bro. Nice. Takes my holding it right. Show the tail, yeah. Yes. Minutes later, David is on to another fish. Another did I what? More aggressive with this fish. The better one. Oh! We are, we are casting pretty big flies, big hoppers. 
with size 10 and 20 hooks. I personally find it will be advantageous and a lot easier if you can just pick up the line and make a quick accurate cast and put the fly on target especially in uh, this condition when the boat is drifting rather quickly you don't have much time to put your fly where you want it so as soon as the fly lands on the water you still got to leave it still and drag free for at least a couple of seconds so if you can make quick accurate cast i feel you can place your fly at more targets and increase the chances of uh, fish seeing your fly so make sure you come with a fly line that has enough mass to carry the big hopper fly. Some people like to use shooting headlines, but I don't. I don't like shooting headlines, but you know, use whatever works for you to each their own. Best to get familiar with the setup that you'll be using rather than coming here and finding out it's not suitable. Another thing to consider while fishing here is the boat. The boats are not very stable, especially to have two anglers fishing at the same time. So I think it might be better to take turns. You know. The boats will be a lot less wobbly, I think. At about 5.30 the same day, I had another surprise eat from another red galloy. This one was a big one as well. The hook broke. Nick used that master hook for you, right? No, this is a Fajas fly. Okay. I still want to try it out. It works, that's for sure. Okay. Second, uh, Kaloi eat and the uh, hook broke. Just snapped. Yep, that's how strong they are. David is soon on to another fish, the Lampam, the first of this species for the trip. Oh, Kaloi. Oh, what was it? Lampam. <laughs> Sedap. Enak. Oh, that's a nice size, man, for a lampam. Look that side, lampam. <laughs> Look here, fish. Aggressive, uh, the fish here. At least the. You gotta be careful when you're casting here with all this vegetation around and a boat that's drifting, especially when drifting fairly quickly. Almost we are over to the disaster here. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Let's take a quick look here, how I cast to and quickly cover likely fish holding spots as we drift along. Try to be aware of what's behind you so that your back cast don't catch anything and also occasionally on top of you because there'll be branches and overhanging tree vines and all sorts. As soon as you snag something with your line, the next thing is you will be drifting 15, 20, 30 feet away and the boys will need to paddle like crazy to stop the boat and try to untangle the mess. These rivers are quite long. We can go upstream and then by the time we finish our drift, the whole day will be gone. So now we are heading back to camp. This will be the first time we are seeing the campsite. So we'll clean up and have dinner and then rest. Hey, champion! Champion! Hey, run up! Huh? Yeah, I got another one. Oh yeah? <laughs> but... Hey, you're pushing it, man. But the hook broke. Huh? The hook broke. The hook broke? It was a uh, BBC. Oh! Don't tell me you're using that lousy for now. I got a Lampam and Jelawat. Good sir. Not so great, lah. I mean, per kilo. Oh, stun, lah. <laughs> yeah, on popper. On popper. All oh, on popper. On the lampa, on my. You get one? No, no. Oh, alright. I lost you. I got another one, but the bloody hook broke. Yeah, what was it? I don't know. Oh, it's not a very good one. <laughs>
Oh, you didn't ask us also, huh? What you got? Oh, he, 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 he's prepping uh, the mango different. Tandurian and pot pig mango. Fantastic, you did more. <laughs> Good catch. Two, two, uh, Good kilo, two kilo, uh, one kilo, but two of them. Uh. Nah, we were meant not to catch that today. John Ray was meant to just cut. Ah, kicap manis. Kiki. Ah, manis, manis. Makasih ya. Little bit of coffee. 